Hey everybody, how's it going? Mark Kazi here from Black Cat Comics and Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. Uh, there's not a million titles out this week uh, like last week, but there's some great stuff, some books I'm real excited about. Uh, Action Comics 13, uh, the next arc from Grant Morrison's Superman run is out this week. Uh, features the New 52 introduction to Crypto the Superdog, uh, who's the coolest dog in comics. Uh, so enough said on that, Crypto's awesome. Uh, Detective Comics and Batwing are your bat books this week, along with the uh, first volume of The Dark Knight. Uh, Earth 2 and World's Finest are out this week. Everybody's already reading Earth 2. If you're not reading World's Finest, you should be, because uh, it's got Huntress and Power Girl and art from the legendary uh, Jerry Ordway. Uh, so check that out. Animal Man, Swamp Thing, and Dial H are all out this week, sort of your fringe new 52 books. GI Combat is out this week. Want to talk about GI Combat, because it's got Haunted Tank and Unknown Soldier, which are both very cool. Uh, I know War's not very popular right now, but it's a very cool comic, uh, so you should check out GI Combat, because it's super cool. Uh, I Vampire Trade Paperback Volume 1 is out this week. Uh, speaking of Fringe New 52 stuff, so you can catch up on that. Green Arrow and Green Lantern both out this week. Green Lantern is even hotter than it has been, uh, so grab the previous number 0 and this week's number 13 if you're not up on that. Great stuff. Ferris and Sweet Tooth are your fables books this week. Uh, and Smallville is out this week. Everybody's uh, catching up on the uh, Smallville comic because it continues from the show, and that's super cool. Huge week for the Marvel guys. Avengers vs. X-Men number 12 and AVX vs. number 6 are both out this week. Wraps up all the uh, uber popular AVX stuff. Uh, if you read number 11, uh, it blew your mind and you've been waiting for number 12. If you aren't caught up, you should be because uh, this is the last issue and it's super awesome. Uncanny X-Men is also out this week, which uh, pretty much wraps up the whole thing. And then all the Marvel Now stuff will start next week with Uncanny Avengers, so that's super cool. Want to talk about Daredevil End of Days. It's a mini by some of the best Daredevil creators of all time, uh, most notably Brian Michael Bendis, the uber Marvel scribe. Uh, if you're into Daredevil, you'll super want to pick up this book. If you're not into Daredevil, you should be, because uh, Mark Wade's doing a great job on the regular title, and this one's super cool. Uh, also, a Carnage book starts this week. I know everybody's into Carnage and Venom, and that's all cool stuff. Make sure you check that out. Defenders is here this week. Great big week for the Marvel stuff. Not a lot from the Dark Horse guys, which gives me an opportunity to talk about Boom Studios uh, and Dynamite, a couple of guys that I've been liking more and more all the time. Planet of the Apes Cataclysm number two is out this week. Always talking about Planet of the Apes and encouraging you guys to get into that. Always talking about Lone Ranger uh, because Lone Ranger is super awesome and a good version, a uh, good example of diversity in comics. Westerns and the war comics I talked about earlier, great stuff. Muppets is out this week for Marvel. That's my kids' book this week. Didn't talk much about kids' books last week. Everybody should have an all-ages book on their list because there's tons of great ones out there. Check out those shipping lists at blackhatcomics.biz. Take a good look around because there's tons of great stuff out this week. That's all I got for you. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out at blackhatcomics.biz. Get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.